Today we're going to use a gel press plate to make striped tissue paper. Before we get started, I wanted to show you two projects I use the striped tissue paper in. The first is this Maleficent um, page from my sketch project, and the second is this one from uh, the sketchbook project, which is Little Red Riding Hood, and you'll see that I just use the tissue paper as highlights on the bottom and on the sides to add a little interest. And now let's go ahead and take a peek at how to do this. First off, you need some kind of gel press plate. It could be a jelly plate. It can be this kind that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, you just need, it's just called a gel press plate. They're very affordable. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start putting dots of paint along the side. Now you don't want to use too much paint and you're going to use like I here I used contrasting colors, right? I used yellow and blue and then I just smudge them and pull them across. And you need lots of paint brushes for this. I probably used 10 paint brushes in this project and you want to have um generally a nice uh, sideways look to it and then if you're not feeling you got enough color the same way as I did here you can go ahead and uh, add an extra layer of color now I'm using this is called a fondant roller that is from I got it at Michael's and it's used for cake decorating so you, it just adds another little layer of texture and you just lay your um, your tissue paper and you can buy any type of tissue paper. You can use cheap, super cheap tissue paper and just lay it off and grab that um, pull of it. Now I don't clean my gel plate between them because I like a little bit of interest where you get the layers and layers and layers. See, here's my next paintbrush, right? We're doing some red this time. Now red, of course, will match with blue. We know that because it actually makes purple, right? And red and green are complementary colors. They're opposite on the color wheel. But I'm just going back through here and adding a little bit more of that blue paint we used before and maybe a mix of a couple of different blue paints and just spreading that along. Now, I like the big wide brushes for this. Um, I find when I use the little brushes, like that little purple one, I don't get as as neat a, not neat, uh, as cool, as the kids would say, a look. And this is the one that I used in the Little Red Riding Hood. Um, this came out perfectly. I was using a red and blue color scheme for this. And they call this second pull like a ghost pull, but I found that you can get some really nice colors. And then I always try to turn the um, tissue paper and get all the little edges. And now this one, we're gonna do lots of color with this one. We're gonna get some orange. We got the red in there already. We got the blue in there already. And the fun thing about um, using the gel plate I guess if you've never heard of them, what it does is the acrylic paint activates as soon as it's on there. You can wait forever. You can put one layer down and come back two days later. And as long as you cover it with more acrylic paint, it will pull off that gel plate. Now here, I love this one. This one's like a mermaid texture, but since I'm doing it sideways, it's not really gonna show up as a mermaid texture. And again, that's one of those fondant rollers. I'll make sure to put a link to that link to them below because they're very cool. And you can always go back in and mix your different ones. Like I went back in here and got just a little bit of um, the orange and and blue to add to what I was had going on. And last but not least, I I always enjoy seeing the color combination, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. I think some of them that I did turned out super well. Some of them I was like, oh, I didn't know if I like those color combinations. 
as you could see there when I got a little bit too much paint going on you want to try to keep those layers super light um, I got a rip in the tissue paper there I got some globbies where I had some extra paint down I went back over another kind of um, set of colors I did complementary colors this purple and yellow and orange turned out to be one of my favorites um, so you can just mix and match have fun play with colors you can't go wrong because at worst you're just using a little of your acrylic paint and then you are um, using a, just some sheets of tissue paper so hopefully that helps Sarah Jacobson artsy fartsy life